Hi everybody. I'm gonna work on the bandana. And got it smoothed out. Over on this edge is my zero line on my cutting mat. So I just lined up the clean edge on here. And I'm gonna take my long ruler and go way over here to 32. And line it up on that line there. And that line down at the end, like so. And I use a weight, I got this from Donna Jordan. It's a three pound hand weight. I just stick it on the end. And sorry, it's out of frame, you can't see it, but that keeps the other end of the ruler from wiggling around when I cut it with my rotary cutter. So then we just slice it off like this. <coughs> sorry about the coughing, I'm a little dry here. So then I have a nice big, Well, it's not square in there now. It's a rectangle at 32 inches. So the next thing I want to do is just trim off the selvages. So I'll bring this this way. And line that up like that. And I'll just take the end off where the selvages are in this end here. I'll line it up along this way on the board. It'll just go in by an inch on the end, but like so. Again, keep the weight there so that doesn't shift around on me. So I'm gonna cut that off. Like so. Okay. So that's all the yuck on that we don't want now. What I also have to make it because it's 32 this way, I gotta make it 32 across this way as well. So it has to be a square. Um, right now it is way too big. Well, maybe I should cut it in half and do it at 16. That might be easier. Let's see. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to cut it by itself, I think. I don't think I can fold it. I'll have to figure that one out, so. Shut it down for now. All right, now we have a 32-inch square. So, I'm going to fold it so it's right sides together. Like so. This long piece will be where I tie it around my dog's neck. I'll scoot this back. So what I'm gonna do is pin it so it's stable. And I'll leave myself an opening to flip it around with. So generous hands width is usually good enough. Give me that and we'll pin around it. Doesn't have to be too many, but just secure enough so it's not shifting around. Especially on these open edges here, where I joined the sides together. Scoot that back a little bit. Doesn't look as exciting on the wrong side, does it? If you have a dog that's not as big as mine, like a good lab size, you probably could make it more like 25 inches square, something like that. Just if you have a piece of scrap, just try one and see, and then take your measuring from there. I'll put a couple in here too, just so it doesn't move around. position. And if you have a little dog, maybe you need to do something like 10 inch square, maybe. 
again. Trial and error. I found the, the, how to do this from a lady on YouTube, and I can't find her video, so I wonder if she's taking it down. She actually had sizing. I just can't remember what it was. Also, I didn't really pay too much attention because I have a big dog, and that's what I need. Okay. And just to make sure, we'll stick one in the middle, too, just so it doesn't shift around. There we go. All pinned and ready to sew. Okay. Now, in my previous video about the placemats, I had the walking foot on. Now, I have my regular one back on. And this is a quarter-inch foot. I'll show that to you a bit better. That little edge, the flange, that's what runs along and keeps it at a quarter-inch. I, If I want a proper quarter-inch, though, for quilting purposes, I have to switch my machine from the standard middle setting of three and a half to be where the needle goes this way to over one over to the right of the four. Then I get a nice scant quarter inch for my quilting seams. But for this purpose, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to leave it with the default setting of 3.5. So just make sure when you start that you go back a little bit and put your needle down. Some people call it back stitch, back tack, whatever, just to hold the, the seam from coming undone. There we go. I also change needles. I took that 80 out that I was using for quilting, and this is a 70, uh, 70 universal, I believe, 70, 110, hang on one second, um, 70, 10, there we go, or 130, 705, I'm not sure what those means, Schmetz, universal needles, sometimes I use the Microtex ones, it doesn't really matter, but a 70 is good just for general sewing, it works just fine. I'm going to use the 90s for paper piecing, but that's going to be another video, I guess, someday. I'm going to get all the way around, down to the end. Okay, let's just make that pin out right now while I'm out of the way. And we go down to the edge, and we just do a little bit closer. And then you pivot. And maybe a bit more. One more stitch. I'm not quite far enough down. There. Okay. Perfect. And off we go. So you don't have to watch me sew the whole time here. I'll just shut this down for now. Before you turn it inside, back around from inside out to right side out. See that corner there? you got to cut across, because when you flip it around, it makes bulk. So I just take my scissors and I nick right across there. Not too close to your stitching, because then it'll come undone. But just across there. And I will also do the pointy ends, too. Just right across the end. Like so. Okay. 